Um, so yeah, uh, again, thank you so much, Emily and X Endurance for having me back. Uh, this has been an amazing way to connect with people, you know, kind of all over the country. Um, I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces, familiar names from previous classes. So I just want to say thank you guys again for having me. Um, for those of you that haven't attended my classes before, I'm going to take you guys through how I would typically take a class at my gym, CrossFit Speakeasy in Belmar, New Jersey. Um, so I always start with a brief, go over the workout, talk about uh, the intended stimulus. Okay. Uh, today is going to be a 12 minute AMRAP. So there's not really a time domain that we're looking at, but more so how much can we get accomplished in that 12 minute time domain? Okay. And then following the workout today, guys, we're going to have a little bit of core work to do too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the chat, what the workout's going to be. All right. And then from there, Okay, we're going to review those movements, go over, you know, how many rounds, you know, I would think that people should be getting in this 12 minute window. Um, let me just pull the chat up. Sorry. All right. And then um, the Ah. Okay, sorry, just deleting a couple things really quickly. All right. Last time you killed me, I might just be recovering now. All right. Um, well, today, today's going to be spicy too. So sorry about that. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's your workout today heading into the chat now. Okay. So we've got a 12 minute AMRAP if you guys want to follow along. All right. Or write it down so you have it nearby uh, once we get rocking. It's going to be 21 double unders. Following 21 double unders, guys, you're going to do seven dumbbell thrusters on your right arm and then seven dumbbell thrusters on your left arm. Following that, you're going to have 14 jumping lunges. So that's going to be one round, and we're going to do as many rounds as possible in that 12-minute window. Yeah, so legs are going to feel nice and good, all right, uh, by the end of this, actually probably by the, the, the first third of it. Okay, so just really quickly, just want to go over some scaling options. If we don't have a jump rope, Okay, a couple of things that you can do. Uh, I love doing the double pat drill. So the double pat drill, guys, is going to mimic as if you were doing double under. So you would jump up and then tap your thighs all right, at the top of your jump, just as if you were trying to get that double revelation of the rope all right, with our jump ropes. If we're not comfortable with that, we can do 21 lateral hops. So if you have um, just something on the ground, just very, very small that you can maybe jump over, feet together, all right, 21 lateral hops over that tiny object, okay? A piece of tape would suffice, okay? Our thrusters, okay, a thruster, guys, is gonna be a front squat into a push press. So we're doing single arm today, so you're gonna grab your object, dumbbell, kettlebell, uh, if you have, uh, something else that might be weighted, but we're looking for these dumbbell thrusters to be unbroken, all right, the majority of the workout, okay? When we have single arm stuff or single side stuff, I love being like, okay, once this side is done, this arm gets a break, okay? And then you're going to be on to the next arm on the other side. So dumbbell thruster or kettlebell thruster, that object's going to be up in that front rack position, full squat as we drive up out of the bottom, pop the hips open, extend overhead, and then returning back to the shoulder. Okay, so seven on one side and seven on the other. And then for our jumping lunges today, guys, this is probably gonna be the portion of the workout that's really gonna start to get spicy. Okay, if you can't do jumping lunges, all right, or if you start with jumping lunges and you're like, I don't wanna do one more freaking jumping lunge, just do regular reverse lunges, just something to keep you moving for this 12 minute window. All right, but I do wanna see all right, back knee touches the ground, jump up, switch legs, trying to drive through that front heel. And again, if that becomes too difficult, instead of just stopping, all right, just come to full extension and let's just do regular reverse lunges so we can keep ourselves moving, okay? And then we're gonna be back to those double unders, all right? Does anybody, before we get started on the warm up, does anybody have any questions, scaling options? Uh, is, if anybody can't do anything lower body, just please type it in the chat, let me know, and I'll come up with something else for you. Um, and then once we're done with the 12 minutes, guys, we'll regroup, we'll go over the core work for today, and, uh, and then you'll be good to go. All right? Questions, comments, concerns? I'm sure Leslie has some concerns, but we'll be all right. <laughs> 
All right, guys. So we're going to start with one minute of jumping jacks. All right, just get our heart rate up a little bit. One minute of jumping jacks. So go ahead, stand up, get yourself situated. All right, I will start the clock for you guys. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. Make sure everybody's with us, everybody's ready to rock. All right, going in three, two, one, just one minute of jumping jacks. Here we go. Good job, guys. Thirty more seconds. Good, ten seconds. Three. Two, one, awesome. All right, from here, guys, we are going to go 10 reps of down dog to high plank. So the, the purpose for down dog to high plank, guys, is one, warm up the shoulders. You're also gonna be warming up the core here. When you're in your down dog, I want you to think about shrugging and pressing into the ground. And as you roll forward to your high plank, all right, think about pushing your shoulder blades as far away from one another as possible. So I'm in down dog, sending the hips up, I'm pushing into the ground, pulling myself forward with my core, all right, and pressing into the ground at the top of my push-up, and then pressing back, all right, 10 times. All right, go ahead, 10 reps of down dog to high plank, okay? You could also use this as a good hamstring stretch too, all right, so send those hips up as high as you can, force your heels down into the ground, maybe pedal out the feet a couple of times, get the calves, since we will be doing a lot of jumping today. 10 reps of uh, down dog to high plank. Don't let the shoulders sag down. Think about pressing into the ground, guys, through every position. Good. After 10 reps there, all right, we're now going to do 10 alternating lizard lunges. So the lizard lunge, guys, I like to start in down dog. All right, so again, in that position, then I'm gonna bring that right leg to the outside of the right hand keeping the shin vertical, knee stacked on top of that ankle, all right? And then kicking back to down dog, bringing the opposite leg up, all right? You're gonna do that 10 times, so five each leg, all right? Press back to down dog, come forward to that lizard lunge. Good job, guys, looking great. Jen, these don't have to be weighted lizard lunges. <laughs> Pippa. <laughs> Once you're done with five on each leg, guys, or 10 total, all right, we're gonna lie flat on our stomachs. And from here, we're going to get a press up, okay? So this is gonna help start to warm up the hand or the, um, the arms for that press through on the thruster, but it's also gonna help decompress the lower back, all right? So lying flat on our stomach, untuck the toes, just press up your upper body, all right? Maybe take a deep breath at the top and let it out and let those hips, all right, sink a little bit closer to the floor. You're gonna do that 10 times. Awesome. And then after 10 guys, we're going to roll over onto our backs. Legs extended out in front of us. Arms are gonna be outside like a T. Let's bring the right leg straight up and you're gonna drop it over to the left hand, trying to keep your right shoulder pinned to the floor. And then you're gonna bring that right leg all the way back up, lower it back down, bring the left leg up, bring it over to the right hand, Okay, and you're gonna do 10 supinated twisted cross rotations. So five each side. 
All right, alternating legs if you'd like. Nice, guys. Once you are finished with those 10 supinated twisted cross rotations, we're gonna go back to the top and do that one more time through, starting with the down dog to high plank. So 10 reps of everything, 10 down dog to high plank, focusing on pushing into the ground and pulling through your core. 10 alternating lizard lunges, 10 press ups, and 10 supinated twisted cross rotations. Good stuff, guys. If you wanna add a little variation to those lizard lunges, as you bring that right leg up, okay, let's, or as you bring your leg up, maybe reach your hand to the ceiling, get a little twist in your midsection, all right, then plant the hands, press back. Good. Awesome stuff, guys. After the lizard lunges, you have the press ups. And then one more round, all right, of those supinated twisted cross rotations. Good job, guys. Once you're done with those supinated twisted cross rotations, just go ahead and hop up so I know everybody's finished uh, with that portion and we can move on to the next part. If you don't have your jump rope readily available, once you're done, go quickly grab that jump rope. We're gonna get into a little bit of a movement prep, get ourselves ready for the workout. Good, all right, looks about, we almost have everybody ready to rock. Okay, so grab your jump ropes. All right, if you don't have a jump rope, that's completely fine. All right, guys, so now we're gonna do a little bit of a movement prep. So I always like to do like a dynamic stretch to, to start, and then before we get into the workout, all right, do a little movement prep, prime those muscles that we're going to be using for the workout, all right, before we just jump right into it. So your movement prep today, guys, is going to be three rounds, 30 seconds of jump rope, okay? What I want for those of you that have jump ropes, what I'd like you to do, okay, is try to increase the intensity each round. So maybe the first 30 seconds, you know, you're just doing single unders. The next 30 seconds, maybe you're running in place, picking the pace up a little bit. And then maybe that third 30 seconds, that third round, you're doing double unders. Okay, for those of us that do not have uh, a jump rope, you can just vary, you can kind of jog in place, you can do jumping jacks, you can do those lateral hops, all right, over, over your object, whatever you want, just something to get your heart rate up a little bit. So it's gonna be 30 seconds of some sort of jumping variation, all right, trying to increase the intensity each round. Then you're gonna have five drop squats, okay? A drop squat, guys, is not a jump squat, okay? A lot of people uh, confuse that. Our drop squat, okay, we're gonna start standing up, feet under the hips, and you're going to 
drop into your squat. Okay, so you're gonna shuffle your feet to your squat stance, drop to the bottom of your squat because we've got a lot of thrusters today. All right, so again, feet are gonna start under the hips. All right, chest stays up, drop into the bottom of your squat, stand up, all right? And then you're gonna do five push-ups, all right? So if you can't do push-ups, just drop to your knees or use a, do some sort of inverted push-up like on a bench or a table or a chair. Okay, again, this is just a little movement preps. It's a continued warm-up. All right, we're going to start with 30 seconds of jump rope. I'll keep track of the time, guys. Then you have five drop squats, five push-ups, and then we'll start the next round together. All right, so everybody get to your jump ropes or whatever you're gonna be doing. We're going in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Nice and easy, here we go. Twenty seconds. Ten. And three, two, one. Good. Five drop squats. Good. So feet start under the hips. Shuffle those feet out and quickly drop to the bottom of your squat, resetting at the top. After five drop squats, five push-ups, all right? Five push-ups, maybe from your knees or to an object. And once I see everybody back up, I'll restart that clock for those 30 seconds of jump rope again. All right, looks like we're ready to go. All right, so here we go back to our jump ropes, maybe trying to increase the intensity now, going in three, two, one, 30 more seconds, here we go. My dogs are so confused as to why I'm talking to my computer. <laughs> 20 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, five drop squats, five push-ups again. Here we go. Good, focus on keeping your chest up. Drop to the bottom of that squat as quickly as you can. Good, nice, Julie. And then five push-ups. Once I see everybody up again, we'll do our final round. All right, so now this should be the highest intensity round, okay? So quickest, quickest jump rope variation you can do or hardest jump rope variation you can do, five drop squats, five push-ups going in three, two, one. Here we go, 30 more seconds. Nice, good, Katie. Awesome, guys. Fifteen seconds. Five, three, two, one. Good. Five more drop squats, five more push ups. Good. Once you guys are done with that, that third round, all right, I want to open up the floor for any uh, questions, comments. Um, if anybody needs help with scaling anything, just go ahead, type it in the chat or unmute yourself. Uh, if not, go ahead, grab your water, get something to drink really quick. We're going to start the 12 minute AMRAP in about two minutes, all right? Starting about two minutes.
All right, guys. So before we get started, I just want to once again, just reiterate the, the workout and talk about the intended stimulus and maybe some goals to set for yourselves. All right. So we've got 12 minutes, 21 double unders, seven single arm thrusters on the right side, seven single arm thrusters on the left side, 14 jumping lunges. All right. This is kind of one of those workouts, guys, where the reps are low enough that probably about like four minutes in, you're going to be like, are we done yet? And I'm going to be like, no, we just hit four minutes. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh. All right. So finding a manageable pace out the gate, guys, is going to be ideal. All right. Not trying to sprint, not trying to blow your legs up too early or too quickly. All right. 21 double unders. If we're very efficient at double unders, it takes about 12 to 15 seconds. All right. Single arm thrusters, depending on the weight that you're using. All right. These should be unbroken. So meaning doing all seven on one side before having to drop it. All right. And then being able to do all seven on the other side. If you are not comfortable, guys, doing single arm work, okay, you can just double the number and do 14 thrusters, okay? I have a shoulder injury, so when I did this workout, I just held a dumbbell on either side, front squat, okay, into a press overhead, all right, just to, to save my, my bad shoulder, all right? And then the jumping lunges, guys, this is probably the portion of the workout that's going to start to catch up to people, all right? Instead of stopping, all right, just do reverse regular lunges and try to keep yourself moving. Okay. Anybody have questions, comments, concerns? If you do, just go ahead, unmute yourself or, uh, or type something in the chat. Show me a jumping lunge. Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right. So jumping lunge. All right. You're going to do a reverse lunge. Okay. And then you're going to jump up and switch legs. All right, jumping up and switching legs. You don't need to jump high. It doesn't need to be like a max jump, all right, just to get that little bit of explosiveness coming out of the bottom of our lunge, okay? All right, of course. She makes it look so easy. Yeah, because I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> all right, guys, if we're ready to rock, just give me the thumbs up all around. All right, Emily's ready to go. Other Emily's ready to go. Katie's ready to go. Sarah's ready. Jen's ready. All right, awesome. That means I'm ready. Okay, guys, we're going in 10 seconds, starting with that jumping variation, okay? Jumping double unders or lateral hops. All right, we are going in three, two, one. Here we go, guys. 21 double unders. Good question, Julie. It's seven each leg. 14 total jumping lunges, guys. 14 total jumping lunges. 14 each leg would just be real mean. Good, Katie. Nice, guys. Seven thrusters each arm. All right. I care more so about that squat, all right? Get all the way down in that squat. Try to drive up out of the bottom. Use your hips to get that object overhead. Nice, Haley. Good, guys. All right, all right. We are moving and grooving. Good. Once you're finished with those lunges, all right, we're back to our jump rope for 21 double unders. You don't have to go fast, guys, but try not to stop, all right? Just moving ourselves, all right, for 12 minutes. Awesome. Come on, Em, you're almost keeping it on the minute. Let's go.
Good. Nice, Katie. Good job, Sarah. Nice, Julie. Good, Jen. Awesome, Cassie. Nice, Leslie. Come on, Stephanie, here we go. Well done, guys. You're almost a third of the way done. All right, so we're approaching four minutes in. Come on, Cassie, you got it. There you go. Come on, Katie. Good. You got it, Jen. Let's go. Here we go. Go ahead, Haley. Come on, Tita. I know the legs are burning, guys. You'll thank yourself later. Good, Emily. Good, Jamie. Guys, we're almost halfway. Come on. Nice, Cassie. Nice, Katie. Good job. Good. Okay, guys, we just hit halfway. So if you've been keeping track of your rounds, set a goal for yourself to try to double that number, all right? So if you're four rounds in, let's try to get eight rounds down, okay? We're just over six minutes in. You've got it. Good. About five and a half minutes left. That's it. You can do anything for five and a half minutes. Come on. We flipped through Instagram for five and a half minutes. There you go. Nice, Stephanie. Good. Good, Julie. Yep, shake those legs out, guys, and then get right to work. Under five minutes to go. Come on.
Good. Four and a half minutes, guys. Come on. You got this. Couple more rounds in you. You've got it. Good job, Jen. Nice, Cassie. Good. Good, Jamie. Nice, Haley. Awesome, Leslie. Stay on it. Stay on it. You got it. Come on, Emily. I know legs are on fire, but guess what? You only have three and a half minutes. Come on, three and a half minutes, guys. Clock doesn't stop, just keep on moving. We're starting June off right, let's go. Good, Tita. Good, Haley, stay with it. Good, Sarah. Under three minutes, guys, under three. Two and a half minutes. Woo! My legs are burning and I'm just sitting here. Good job guys, you're crushing it, come on. You can do anything for two minutes, anything for two minutes. That's all you got left is two minutes to go. Just keep yourself moving. Good. Nice, Stephanie. Come on, Jen. Good, Julie. All right, guys, this is my favorite part of the workout. 90 seconds. That is it. 90 seconds. Show me what you got. Come on, try to push that pace. You can do it. Come on. I know it burns, I know it hurts, but you're not gonna fail. Keep it going. Push through it. You have one minute, one minute to go. Come on, Katie, you got it. Go ahead, Jamie. Come on, Cassie, stay on it, you got it. Just one more rep, guys. Tell yourself one more rep. 45 seconds. Come on, try to push the push the pace, push the pace. 30 seconds. Don't stop on those jumping lunges, Emily. Come on, push through it. 20 seconds. Nice. 10 seconds. Come on, everybody's moving, everybody's moving. Cass, you got it. Three, two, one, time. Oof, I'm sorry guys, I know that hurt. <laughs> awesome job. You guys really pushed it there at the end. That was awesome. Whew. <laughs> A lot.
lot of people hate me, Jamie. It's it's a, it's a mutual feeling. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right, take a minute. Okay, we're not quite done. Just got a little bit of core to finish it up. Okay, and then and then you guys will be on your way. All right, but get some water, shake the legs out. Maybe do a little stretching. That was awesome. Woo -hoo. All right. Okay, guys, so still got a couple more goal reps. I would say that if you got at like seven plus rounds, eight rounds around there, I think that would be pretty ideal. All right. So good, so bad, but so good. Awesome. That's, that's, the, that's the reaction I like. Okay, guys, so your core work today. Okay, we've got three rounds through. Okay, we're going to do 20 up and over. So all of you guys had an object okay, that you use for your thrusters. Ideally, let's try to use that same, same object. So an up and over, okay, I'm gonna place, I'm gonna use my, my dog bowl, okay? You're gonna place it at your ankles with your legs straight out in front of you, okay? So it's gonna be out at your ankles, legs straight out in front of you. You're gonna place your hands behind you to support, okay? And then from here, you're just going to go up and over that object, all right, keeping the legs straight 20 times, all right? Over and back, all right, counts as two. So one, two, three, four, all the way to 20. From there, you have 40 penguins. I don't know why I call them this. They just remind me of a penguin for whatever reason. All right, you're gonna lie down on your back and you're gonna plant your feet, okay? From here, we're gonna get ourselves to that hollow position, okay? Obviously, all right, not with the legs extended, but we want to press the lower back into the ground, lift the shoulder blades off the ground, arms are going to be reaching for your heels, to the outside of your heels for 40 reps. So it's gonna be 20 each side, all right? 20 each side, okay? So that's gonna be three rounds through, 20 up and overs and 40 penguins for three rounds. You guys can rest as needed between movements and between rounds, okay? So whatever you need to do to get it done, but we've got three rounds through, it's gonna be on your own time. All right, so you guys can go ahead and get started if you're recovered from that lovely leg burner, okay? So go ahead, 20 up and overs, 40 penguins. Good, so on those penguins, all right, make sure the shoulder blades are off the ground, lower back is pressing into the floor. Good, try to keep the legs as straight as possible on those up and overs. Good guys.
Good job. After your third round, guys, you are finished. 20 up and overs, 40 penguins. And that's it for today from me. <laughs> great job guys thank you guys so much all right looks like everybody's wrapping up if everybody if anybody's ever in new jersey all right you guys are always more than welcome all right at my gym crossfit speakeasy so thank you so much emmy always a pleasure